You can't say yes to everything. If you say yes to everything, at some point you suffer, and also the person you say yes to will suffer. Has to be sometimes that you say yes, sometimes you say no. Has to be a good, a good medium. Chesed will be the one that will say yes, Gvura will be the one that says no. So the power of Gvura is the power to negate or to deny, to say no. And the no doesn't mean that it's negative, by the way. If you have a box of chocolates in front of you, you have one piece, you have another piece. If you had already 22 pieces, that's not good. After the third piece has to be gvura, has to be no, I had already. But it's to say no for what's not good for you. If it's good for you, that's a whole different thing. But if I know that something is not good for you and I tell you no, then it's a very positive thing. It's not a negative thing. Now, why is it a positive thing? Not only because it's not good to you, because it will do bet better for you. This is what's called in Hebrew, le'ativimach. If I now stop you from doing something that is not good for you, that not only that I'm stopping you from doing something that is bad for you, it will else, uh, 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 after benefit you. So after a week, that we went through the entire week of love, of chesed, now we're taking a whole 180 detour, and we're going to a week of gvura, of severity, of din, of judgment. Now we're starting with chesed sheba gvura. Chesed, it means love. And, but this is the love that will motivate me to stop something that is not so good. You know, the ultimate chesed sheba gvura is with me and myself. It's very easy to come and say, I have kids, I need to educate them. It's not good to eat too much chocolate. It's not good to be too much in front of the computer. That's between me and another person. But we want to take it to the next level. How about me and myself? When there's nobody around me, I can eat that whole box of cookies. Where's the, where's the restriction? Has to be some chesed shibagvura to say, I had to. This is not good for me. It's not healthy for me. I'll gain weight. I'll have a stomach ache. I'll ruin my teeth. Whatever it is. So again, chesed shibagvura is the power of love that motivates me to say, no. This is not restricting the love, by the way. It's actually giving more love. This is the abundance of love. If I give with no restrictions, then the love just comes like a waterfall, like a dam opening, and the water just destroys. It doesn't benefit anything. So the ultimate shefa, the ultimate abundance of love, is when I know how to put a boundary and a border. So again, practically saying, find a relationship in your life that you feel that you're constantly saying yes, 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 and saying, okay, where do I pull out the no in this relationship? But not because I feel frustrated. Because it's the right time to say right now, no, we had enough. No, it has to finish right now. And it's healthy for both sides and will benefit the person you say no. Take it to the next level. Even if you can't find somebody in your life that you need to pull that no card, then you turn the homework on yourself. When do you say no to yourself? And you'll find a time of the day that you're letting yourself go too much where you have to say no. I slept already 12 hours, I need to get out of bed.